and welcome guys. This is a quick tutorial for all video makers that are working with Camp Studio or Camtasia Studio. Um, you noticed if you make a video, your file size is so 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 big. I can I can um, show it to you. Um, I have here made a project and it's 255 megabyte big. So, now Duncan said in a video, or mobile phone 2003 he is known as, um, he said his Cam Studio settings and of course I said and he said the video the video file is big and in Cam Studio it records with AVI so I said uh, it's big because it's an AVI file and I was wrong and that set me the user Ctune 6 I debated with it um, and he said uh, I should use H.264 inside of AVI and then I said what the hell Cam uh, Camtasia Studio won't allow me this so I had to try another thing Yeah, it's the good old super. Okay. First thing you have to do is to render in Camtasia Studio if you have this. Just render your videos in .avi. The Cam Studio users are lucky because Cam Studio just does it in .avi and can't do another format. So, okay. If you start super you have this interface but we need to change it so did you notice this little uh, dots here these are called radio buttons just select the first one now here we have the full and uncomplicated uh, interface from the good old super no mine's not old it's the version 2009 Bild 360, no, 36. <laughs> um, but let's come to the settings. Under this stripe, select in the first box AVI, in the second H.264 AVC, in the third MP3. Let's go one down. In this, you should select FFmpeg not mencoder. Now, in the green tab, the video tab, nothing selections to this. At the video scale size, just scroll to more and select and select 1280 by 720 or the scale your video is. Um, in aspect, select 16 by 9. In frame per sec 30, in bitrate kbps select 5280, and under options just click high quality and demark every everything else. Now let's go to the blue audio tab. Just don't mark anything here again. In sampling frag mark 44100, in channels mark 2. Bitrate KBPS mark um, 192. Just drop it down like in the um, thing on top and leave the rest as it is. Now we come to the rest of the program. Here you have this gray box. Um, just add here your media files by right clicking and click add multimedia files search for your file double click on it then click on encode active files here select H264 and click on OK now it can take a little while After a while, a window will come up. Just say yes and type another file name in. I just 
will type in test. Now click on OK and the video file will render. This can take now a while. Let's see what comes out. So it finished. Let's see what we've got. First video was 255 megabytes large. After transcoding it, it was 32 megabytes. Isn't this nice? So, that was it for me. Thanks for watching.